Alright, so today we're going to be doing operators, specifically in this video, equality. So greater than, less than, and equals to. Um, this is basically a part two from last video, because last video I showed how you use variables and how to relate them to operators. So I would go watch that video first. But if you already did or you already know, here's this video. Obviously, you could do this. 51 greater than 50. 49 and less than 50. And then equals 50. You could do this. But the thing about these, these are always true. Meaning, there's no point of these. Because whatever you want is going to be always true with these. So you can just do it instead of asking if this is true. Because if you know math, then you would know this is true. So that's why you would use variables and relate them. Last video, we used test. We're going to do that. Test. Let's say, well, first we have to make test go up at a certain point. So let's go get rid of these. Except for this, we're going to keep the equals. When green flag clicked, I'm going to set it to zero. And two videos ago, I believe it was, yeah, we did what, like, how to make this sprite click and, like, what, how to make something happen when you click the sprite. Let's do that. We're going to do this way. Go watch two videos ago if you want to know how to do that. There's two ways, but we're going to do this way. When this, um, sprite clicked, change test by one. And let's say we all, we keep using the say hello. So under the green flag click, this one we're going to do forever if. And now that's where the equals comes in. If anything like this has a triangle at the end, we call that a Boolean. You can put them into these, these dark things that have this, these shapes, just a little skinnier. And I guess there's a reason why. You can put them into... These round things called inputs. I guess there's like a way to use booleans with inputs. I've never used one, but I guess there is because it works. So I'm just going to put it in the if block. Now we're not going to do 50 equals 50. Let's do if test equals 10. Cause So once test gets to 10, say hello for two seconds. Now... Keep clicking, and it says hello. Since test this number equals ten, if I were to go to nine, nothing would happen because it's below. So obviously, ten it says hello. It does not say hello. So, but if it yeah, but if once test equals ten, it says hello. So that's the equals. Now there's the, we'll do the less than. If test is less than, is less than, uh, let's see. Actually, this uh, other way, right, if test is less than 10. Now for this, no, say hello until we get to 11. Once we get to 11, it would stop because it's greater than 10. The other way, print story. Now, whenever 10 is greater than test, it says hello. Uh, or, I mean, when test is greater than 10, then it says hello. Um, this is basically the same thing as greater than. These two are the same because if 10 is greater than test, then say hello. I think. Wait, no, never, never mind. Sorry, no, never mind. I think. Yeah. Yeah, so th this is the same. If test is less than. 10, and if 10 is greater than test, these two are the same. Sorry. So, 
if 10 is greater than test, then keep saying until test equals 11, because then test is going to be greater than 10. You see, it's the same exact thing. Put this in. Keep saying hello. You're not at 10. Um, not at 10 because 10 the equal and not 11 because it's all greater than test. It's all greater than 10 except for 10 because it doesn't talk 10 because they're equal. Not greater than, not less than, just equal. Um, so let's actually do the greater than. So if test is greater than 10, then say hello. So once it gets over 10, nothing's happening. Once we get to 11, then it talks just like that. It's, it's that simple. So like if test is greater than 10, you can do multiple things. You can also do a second variable. Do. If test is greater than test two, then say hello. Then we'll just set Test 2 to 10. So now it's basically is greater than 10 because test 2 is going to be equivalent to 10. So if test is greater than test 2, say hello. Right now it's not. It's still not. It's still not because they're equal. And now it is. And it says hello. Just like that. Uh, so you can use multiple variables. Um, yeah, that's basically how you use greater than, less than, and equals. Oh, equals. Alright, so.